Okay, what we want to do is we actually want to um, determine true, some statements, true or false. Um, and these statements have got or have to do with this idea of penetration and shielding. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of review what penetration is and what shielding is. And so penetration is the proximity to which an electron can approach the nucleus. of an atom. Um, and um, penetration power um, is going to be dependent upon, this idea of um, penetration is dependent upon the shell and the subshell. Um, and so um, what we're going to talk about is this idea of penetrating power. And so we know electrons in the S have greater penetrating power than um, electrons in the P, which is greater than electrons in the G, which of course is greater than electrons in the F, right? So your S shell is um, electrons closer to your nucleus and so forth. Um, and then of course, um, we can even break this down further that 1S has greater penetrating power than 2S, which is greater than 2P, which is greater than 3S, which is greater than 3P, which is greater than 4D, um, or no, 4S, that should be an S, not a D. I um, apologize for that. Which is greater than 3D, right? Because 4S electrons are closer than the 3D, which is greater than 4P, um, which is greater than 5S, and we can keep going with this, right? Um, whereas shielding, um, shielding, is this idea to these core electrons repelling the outer rings. Um, and so basically you have, um, if you have electrons in 3S, they are shielded from that um, attraction of the nucleus by electrons in the 1s, 2s, and 2p. Um, and so um, electrons which experience greater penetration experience less shielding, which makes sense, right? So the closer the electrons get to the nucleus, the, the less they are shielded from that attraction force. Um, and so um, basically you have decreasing attraction between and shielding is the decrease in attraction between the electrons and the nucleus. So um, electrons that are further away from the nu nucleus will have greater shielding. Okay, so based off of those, let's talk about these four statements to determine if they're true or false. So an electron in a 3s orbital is more shielded than an electron in a 2s, and that is true. Um, because the 3s if we go back up into here, electrons in the 3s are protected by electrons that are in the 2p, 2s, and 1s, whereas electrons in the um, 2s are only protected by the 1s. Okay. Um, okay. So an electron in a 3s orbital penetrates into a region occupied by core electrons more than electrons in a 3s. 
P. Um, and that is also true, right? So um, electrons in the 3S have greater penetrating power than electrons in the 3P um, because the electrons in the 3P are shielded more. So, um, so they're going to be able to penetrate um, closer to the nucleus. Okay. Um, and I don't know why that turned blue on me. Um, and then an electron in an orbital that penetrates closer to the nucleus will always experience more shielding. That's false, right? Um, so we know that electrons that are further away from the nucleus will have more shielding than electrons that are closer to the nucleus. So if electrons can penetrate closer, they're going to have less shielding. Um, an electron in an orbital that penetrates close to the nucleus will tend to experience a higher effective nuclear charge than one that does not. Okay, so let's talk about this effective nuclear charge. And we use Z sub EFF um, is the net charge an electron in an atom with multiple electrons. Um, so it's a net charge that one particular ad electron will feel when there are multiple electrons in the atom. Um, and you calculate it, very simply, you calculate it, which is going to be equal to this Z minus S, where Z is actually the atomic number. And minus S, S is your shielding electrons. How many electrons are um, between you and the nucleus, between the electron and the nucleus? So if, um, if the, the atomic number is never going to change, so if you have an electron that penetrates closer to the nucleus, they have less shielding electrons. And so their effective net charge is going to be higher than one that has where the shielding electrons are, are more. So this is a true statement. I hope this helps.